let us take a step back in time, into the Miao village of a thousand households. Xijiang is nestled in the northwestern part of Leishan County, Guizhou, being only 34 kilometers from the prefectural capital of Kaili, and located 850 meters above sea level. Xijiang is one of the largest Miao villages in the world, and the largest in China, housing 6,000 residents in over 1,300 homes. Due to the amount of residents and the lack of arable land, the Miao people began to build their homes into the mountainside. Thanks to this unique environment, the ancient customs concerning farming, festivals, silver accessories, costumes, dining, singing, and dancing have been preserved and passed down from generation to generation, remaining mostly unchanged. Xijiang is considered to be a treasured part of Chinese culture and history. Known as the ancestor of the Miao minority group, Chiyo was the father of farming culture of China. It is rumored that this is where the name Miao comes from. The character, when broken down into parts, literally means grass on a field, implying that the Miao people were the first people to plant and harvest crops. The descendants of Chiyo migrated to the south and settled down here over 2,000 years ago becoming a town of such proportions within the past 600 years. Now, the village has fallen under the protection of such organizations as the historic towns of China and sightseeing villages in China. Its profound culture has even been recognized by a multitude of world heritage organizations. Xijiang is a relic of a time gone by, preserved for millennia and exemplifying a world where humans and nature live in harmony together. Historians marvel at the Miao culture and history. It is often quoted by researchers to be a living fossil for the study of the Miao people's history and traditional culture. Detailed records of the development of Xijiang remain intact, but these records have not been collected in books, paper, or scrolls. Incredibly, the Miao people lack a written language, yet the history still exists. The history was passed down through song, and legends were woven into their clothing. The people became living encyclopedias of the village's history. The young women sing and dance while the men accompany them on the reed pipes, harmonizing to form an almost mystical sound. The better the singers, the more desirable they are as wives to men of the village. Because of this phenomena, Xijiang is often referred to as the sea of song and dances. The clothes worn in these performances are passed down through the generations, some being hundreds of years old. These garments are some of the most prized and sentimental pieces in the entire village. The village festivals and performances traditionally were initiated by one of the village leaders. Xijiang historically has had two leaders running their village, the Guzangtou, the religious leader, and the Huolutou, the agricultural master. The Guzangtou manages social morality, security, and festivals. He dictates the right time to slaughter animals, as well as helps to lead the village festivals. When the time is deemed right, the Guzangtou will take the ox king and slaughter it. At this time, beef starts to become available within the village. The skull of the ox king is placed on an altar at the top of the mountain where people can pray for harvests. This particular skull is from a 750 kilo bull. The Huoluto is the master of farming in the village, presiding over farming related ceremonies such as the opening of the rice gate, which lets the people know when to begin their harvest. Xijiang's farmland covers an area of 240,000 square meters. The land is fertile and rich with water, being viewed as a mother figure by the people of Xijiang. The Baishui River cuts through the middle of Xijiang, bringing forth life and is the lifeblood of not just the fields and irrigation channels, but the people as well. 
The silver from Xijiang is famous throughout Guizhou. Hundreds of years ago, the Miao people lacked banks or similar institutions of storing and saving money, so they had no method of protecting their wealth from thieves. To prevent this, the silver was handed over to the women of the village. The men would work this silver into various forms of jewelry and costumes so that the women could wear it on them at all times. The skill of the silver work is unparalleled in China. With the rise of tourism to the village, the silver workers have begun to craft pieces to be sold to the public, allowing for Miao culture to flow out to the world. Food and alcohol culture in Miao villages differ from traditional Chinese culture. Special occasions call for a style of eating called the Long Table Feast. These feasts promote a feeling of inclusivity within the village by allowing guests and hosts to sit wherever they like along the table. The food is delicious and the toasts never stop. Food at the feasts includes some traditional Miao dishes as sour fish soup. Its flavor is complex and woven with ginger and peppers and fish, while served at a constant boil to further infuse the flavors into the broth. The Miao also make their own wine from sticky rice, giving it a milky white opaqueness and imbuing the alcohol with a pleasant sweetness that makes drinking it a bit too easy. Drinking songs bring beautiful women to you, forcing you to drink and teasing the guests with food. These rituals are said to bring good luck and fortune to those participating in it. Food culture extends past the banquet hall and into everyday life. The Miao people have a variety of snacks that are unique to the Miao. Tsuba is one such snack. Similar to Japan's mochi, rice is pounded into a paste by villagers with hammers. This glutinous paste is then pulled from the larger clump and filled with various goodies and coated in a brown sugar. When coming to Xijiang, make sure to leave room for a delectable treat as you experience the village and lifestyle of the Miao village of a thousand homes. Xijiang's architecture is one of a kind, ranging from stilted buildings to wind and rain bridges. The buildings that are the most pervasive in the village are known as diaojiao lows, or raised base buildings. They have three floors to them. The first is where the animals are kept. The second is for the miao to live in. And the third floor is for food storage. The food is stored in the top floor to allow for easy access to the roof to dry the food, as well as allowing for wind to keep it dry and edible. These buildings show how closely with nature the Miao live. Animals, vegetation, and people, all under the same roof. The Feng Yu Chows, or wind and rain bridges, are found in many ethnic minority villages throughout Guizhou, but most of these pale in comparison to the wind and rain bridges of Xijiang. Traditionally, these bridges served as a place of rest for the villagers and to protect them from the elements whether it be the hot midday sun or a rainstorm rolling over the mountaintops. The bridges are made even more impressive by the fact that not a single nail is used in its construction. For generations and generations, the land around Xijiang has been bent to the will of the Miao, terracing the fields, rerouting the river, taming the animals around them. However, the village has since come to live in harmony with the nature they shaped, as one can see from their everyday life. Xijiang is a diamond in the rough, giving us a peek into a time, world, and lifestyle forgotten by the rest of the world. Return to the past and experience the world as it was. Xijiang is waiting.